All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and yes, today we have another seed video. If you're new to my channel, the content that I normally do for Valheim is I search out seeds, and I am looking for maypoles, and I'm looking for maypoles that have very good playability, meaning they're either close to the bosses or they provide a specific challenge for players, etc. That's the content that I do. Now, maypoles are not necessary to play Valheim. Maypoles confer to you a plus one comfort bonus. Now, the comfort bonus works to increase the length of time in which you receive your rested bonus. So comfort is not trivial. It's definitely important that you have it. But plus one isn't going to make or break your game. Now, the nice part about maypoles is, is they're randomly generated in the world. Not every seed has a maypole. So when you find a maypole, it's a pretty pretty cool event. It's one of the only unique items in Valheim, actually, that's randomly generated. So I search them out, I find them, and I present those maps to you on the channel. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So, as you can see, we're staring out over the ocean. I do have a maypole for you, and it's right here. Now, this maypole is perhaps the closest one that I've found to the water. I think this is probably 12 meters from the water, in-game meters. I mean, this is very, very close to the water. And this is all open ocean in front of us. And I'll show you the um, Valheim Sea Generator in a minute. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty solid location. Um, again, this is, as with most maypoles, it's in a little, you get a little village. A um, couple of raspberry bushes, five. Some, some wood resources, which is nice. You get plenty of wood. And there's your outbuildings. You know, there's always three or four of those, right? There's one randomly over there. Now, the nice part about this location is, is it's got this water all around it, except for over here, right? But even there, the river goes up a little bit. Um, this makes it a little bit more defensible, meaning I could see you going in here and digging this out anywhere you want, maybe up to this ridge and just digging a straight line and then coming across to the water there, and you've got your own little... Um, defensible moated island right there with a maypole on it. Um, I, it it's, I, I think it's decent. Now, where is it located? You can run from the starter location, okay? So there's no, you don't have to cheat, like I'm in cheat mode flying. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just run right up here. Um, this particular starter island is, is okay, and we'll look at that in the map generator. Um, what else can I tell you before we get to the map? Oh, this is as of the Mistland. I'm sorry. This is as of the um, Frost Cave update. So this will be good through the Frost Cave. So what that means is, is whenever uh, Coffee Stain does a major update to the game, like Mistlands as an example, which is the next one coming, the maps change. So this Maypole may not be here if you choose to run this. Um, if you choose to open this map after Mistlands. Now, the key is, if you like this map, you open it up and you save a game with it as is, and it'll preserve the map that way, even when Mistlands drops. But, again, these videos, I do them, um, they will, they are subject to change after a major update. They could ch it, it may not change either, but a lot of them do. Anyways, let's take a look at the C generator for this location. Here we are. So here's your your spawn, okay? And this is the maypole that we're at. Now this is, we're looking this way in the video. So there's all your open ocean that I was talking about. As you can see, there's a good chunk of dark forest right here, which is nice. And then there's a good chunk of dark forest to the north. A little bit of mountain biome, not a lot. So um, this is an okay starter island. I mean, you're going to be you're going to get the resources you need to get off of it. Um, you're not going to have to go too far, though. So let's take a look at the bosses. 
not fantastic, not horrible, I would say that they're mediocre, which means this is a pretty good seed for a true playthrough, right? So, you know, someone who doesn't want to do a speed run wants maybe a, a, an easier start, but then things get a little bit harder as you move along. Um, you've got Elder and the Ich and Ichthyr pretty close by. That's solid, okay? Um, next is Bone Mass. You're going to have to travel to Bone Mass. Um, he's a little bit of a pain, and that's good because if you, in my opinion, um, I think by Bone Mass you should be ready to uh, move along in the adventure, right? So. If you're new to the game, you're going to want to do, you know, the meadows pretty pretty simply. Take your time, build stuff up. And you get into the dark forest, you really start to see, you know, trolls can be a pain. And you can be overwhelmed by great dwarfs if you're not careful. It's a good testing ground, but then once you're ready to get to the swamps, the swamps are when the game, I think, really takes it to the next level in terms of challenge. Now, if you're a vet who's played Valheim, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. Um, however, if you're new or you're just coming back, that's important. So you're going to have to get on a boat to find bone mass. There's one over here. There's one way up here. There's one over here, I think. Um, for ease, you know, there's a couple down here. I think the easiest one's probably going to be directly to the south, right? Because just to the open ocean. But you've got, you know, this one over here you can get to fairly quickly as well. Um, bone mass is going to be a challenge in this game. You've got your motor here, and there's a Yagloth around as well, which you can sail to. So, overall, uh, bosses, it, it, they're mediocre, their location. Uh, that takes a couple of points away from the seed, but it's still a maypole right on the water. I think this would be a good challenging seed. Let's look at the trader. Uh, not bad. Got one right here, um, you know, which you just boat right over and then run run to him. Um, the nice part about that is 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 it's, it's going to open up this motor in this swamp. And I'll show you in a minute why this swamp is important. It's going to be because of the tombs and crypts. But what I want to do is I want to show you troll caves. So you got a whole bunch of troll caves around this trader. Now, the reason that's important is troll caves are fantastic for building a portal to. You clear the troll cave, you enclose the entrance to the troll cave, and you've got a little covered area that's natural that can't be destroyed. You can build a portal in there, a bed, and a fire. Probably fit a workbench, too. Now, as you know, time goes on, you may want to build your own trader base, but in the interim, it's easy to just to, to build at a, at a troll cave. So that gives you a port over here, which would be good, because let's take a look at the tombs and crypts. This swamp is stacked with iron. So that's one of the uh, perks of this particular seed is, is you, you know, you sail over here, you get to the trader, you build your portal, and you've got access to all the iron that you're going to want, okay, uh, which is great. Now this particular location I'm sure is full of resources. There's probably plenty of drocker, there's probably plenty of leeches. Um, everything that you're going to want out of the swamps you're probably going to be able to get here. So that's that's really good news. You don't have to travel too far for that. On your starter island, you've got enough crypts right here um, that you're going to be able to get your certling cores to start. You're going to be able to get all of your dark forest, green for dark forest um, resources that you're going to need. All your rubies, your pearls, money, you're going to be all set. And then when you get over here to the trader, there's still more if you want them. So I think overall... Um, the crypt situation is pretty solid. To have that much iron right there is, is pretty good. Let's take a look at Leviathans. Not great. Okay, so you're going to want to get the Leviathans via Chitlin so you can get your Harpoon. Now, unless you're playing on a modded server where the trader has Chitlin to sell, you're going to need to find some leviathans. I mean, it's not the end of the world here. You've got a couple right here in open water. You've got, you know, this one over here. I could see you sailing up and around here, maybe checking out the swamp, seeing what resources are there, and just getting these three leviathans. That should be enough for you to get a harpoon and a abyssal razor knife, if that's what you so choose. 
What else can I show you? Ah, oh, frost caves, right? Let's take a look. So, none on your starter, which is too bad. There's a couple right here. Again, if you set up with the trader port, you're going to have access to these pretty quickly. Access to this one. And then there's five, yeah, five right here on this motor and six over here on this one. You're probably going to want to go to this motor, right? Because you're going to set up a base right here near the trader. You'll be able to port right over there. So, that's good news. You've got, you know, plenty of frost caves by this motor. Um, you'd be able to farm it up right over here, which is great. Uh, let's take a look at the dragon egg situation. There's enough. Um, there's a couple right on top of this motor. Um, the the issue with dragon eggs is if you're if you've played if you've gotten that far in the game, which I'm assuming a lot of you have, you know that the dragon eggs are heavy. You can't you can't take all three of them at the same time, and it takes three to activate motor. Um, Sometimes it could be a pain. I have had seeds in the past where the just the eggs were nowhere near motor, and it was just a pain. You know, like you get a big seed, like you get a big mountain biome like this, and that's your motor, right? And motor's way up here, and your eggs are down here. Uh, that that's a long haul. You got to run up and down the mountain. Um, it's a pain. What else can I show you? Um, useful runes. Do you have any pickies near us? Hey, you got one that's fairly close, okay? I don't know if you'd be able to drag the piggies over here to um, get a get a farm set up. Uh, usually, when you find a maypole village, there's one or two boars running around. You can fence them in pretty quickly and get them domesticated and get that production going. Um, but yeah, you've got one here. You've got one down here. So you can just run down there and farm up some, some boar meat. If you need to, um, I like to start a boar farm as soon as possible, just because it's easy food. But to each their own, which reminds me, easy food. Let's take a look and see what the bee situation is. We want, definitely want bees. Not a lot. Um, usually, it, it's funny because there's usually a lot of bees around where you spawn. Okay, usually in a lot of seeds. And believe me, I've looked at a lot. Um, this one is, there's still plenty of bees, but they're dispersed. Like, you're going to have to run around and find them. I usually, you know, I don't, what I normally do is, um, I try to find bees and boars right away. Because I want to get the food production all set. And I've got the raspberry bushes in that, in that starter island. So right away, I've got three food sources, which is great. And that's all you really need for the meadows run. Um, and, you know, they, they reproduce on their own, right? So I try to find three to five, three to six bees if I can. Um, you know, uh, you, you take what you can get, right? Um, I'm getting a call. I don't know who that is. Anyways, you take what you can get. Um, so there's that. What else can I show you here? Totems? Yeah, let's look at totems. Um, they're dispersed, right? So you've got this Yagloth up here, which you may want to get to, because you've got a base right here, and you know maybe you'll build another boat and sail up here. This is a very big plains area. Um, you've got one down here. Um, the totems are fairly spread out. Uh, that could be challenging. Um, tar pits? Not bad. This one over here is pretty well built up. Um, but again, this is this is going to be a challenging seed. This is not going to be a simple run. So overall, I think this seed is 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 pretty good. I think the highlight of the seed is obviously the proximity of the maypole to the water. Um, the boss distribution is okay. It's going to be challenging. Um, I think this is a good seed mainly because of the maypole location. I mean, you've got all open ocean here, which is deep water. Um, you're not going to have to really um, grind this area down and, and or anything because you're going to be able to just sail right up here. Um, maybe build a port over on this side, have your little house, your sleeping area right here, and then you can build back here, your farm, whatever. Um, again, it, not the greatest seed, not the worst. The maypole is really close to the water, and that's worthy of a video, in my opinion, because that's 
what I do on this channel for my Valheim content. I think this would be a very good seed for someone just coming back to the game who hasn't played for a while and they're looking for a, a moderate challenge or a new player. Um, because you can run right here from, from the spawn. Uh, there's decent resources here in a moderate challenge. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a seed that you would play on? I don't know if I would. I think I've got I've got a pretty good seed that I'm playing on right now that I'm in love with. But um, I think this might be a decent seed for for the for the person starting out. So you tell me what you think in the comments below. Really appreciate you coming by and taking your time to watch my content. Thank you so much. I will talk to you again soon.